morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am sharing a little etude from the 60 Exercises for Clarinet by Le Fib. It's on IMSLP, so you guys can download it there, or I have already shared it with channel patrons and channel members, so if you become a supporter of my channel, you will get the weekly excerpt ahead of time, delivered straight to the community tab for members or posted on Patreon's uh, group page for my group. So I thought this etude would be great for thinking about keeping a consistent sound between slurring and tonguing and I just this was just it's so lovely it's not that hard just little arpeggios kind of going up and scales coming down you get a little bit up into the lower altissimo so you get to kind of stretch your boundaries a little higher there um, but mostly it stays in the mid-range um, in the and the in the clarion register as well so you get to practice going over the break and evenness in all of in all of that stuff so the first big thing that you want to make sure that you do is take a big breath and i say that every time why do i say that? oh yeah because it's important right it's important so taking a big breath i think about the word home in reverse saying <sighs> and lately i've also really been thinking a lot about feeling my rib cage and my belly, my body, everything expand with my breath. And when I exhale, I use the weight of my body to keep the wind whooshing forward initially. And I just imagine really projecting my wind to reach the other side of the street, make sure my neighbors can feel that wind, you know? Um, so that's, that's the first big thing. Um, a couple of the, the issues with this is that we we tend to want to um, crescendo as we go higher, which is good, um, but we tend to lose support as we go lower. So as we're going down the hill and we have to articulate, it's extra important that you make sure your air is supported and your wind is flowing and whooshing through the instrument because you want all of these articulated notes to speak, right? So that's more important than anything. So the biggest thing with clarinet is just keep your wind going. Always, always, always blow. 100 miles per hour. The next thing that you want to think about when keeping a consistent sound throughout this is what you are doing with your tongue and your jaw and your mouth, okay? So high tongue position, E or SH. I like shh because it kind of brings the corners in as well. Shh, but some people find that they shush with a low tongue position for whatever reason. So I don't do that, but um, you know, if it works for you, use it. If not, you might want to think you when you're blowing, okay? So keep your tongue high. Keep the tip of the tongue as close to the reed as possible, right? And you want to articulate tip of the tongue, the top of the tip of the reed, right? Ooh, did I break it? No. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, so tip of the tongue, tip of the reed, like that, okay? When you're articulating, you want to move your tongue the least amount of distance from the reed possible, okay? So, so the closer you can keep your tongue to the reed, the shorter the distance is going to be and the better control you're going to have. And eventually you'll be able to tongue a lot faster if you keep your tongue bit closer to the reed right so just make sure that you're slurring with your tongue high and then when you articulate you're not doing the hammer thing you're just barely touching the reed so i like to think of t or d d is a nice soft syllable to think about yeah and i guess that's it air and tongue oh yeah and just keep your jaw steady as you're going down and articulating if you start to hear like chirps and squeaks whenever you tongue da, 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 it could be that the jaw is moving around a lot more than it should so and when i say should i, I mean that it should not at all <laughs> like no jaw motion at all so try to keep the jaw steady i find that my jaw stays a little more stable when my corners are nice and tight so i try to keep the corners in i utilize my ooh muscles Ooh, to keep the corners in. 
And the embouchure, nice and steady. <laughs> All right, guys, this one's really fun. I look forward to hearing you guys post this in the Facebook group. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts or anything you want to add to this discussion below, please leave them in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice weekend. Have a good week next week. And as always, happy practicing.